Hello, welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be um, getting the enemy to um, cause um, an effect on us. Um, so far, we can shoot the enemy and we can have an explosion and a sound and shoot them. Now we need to be able to have it so that when we, um, when the enemy touches us, um, we die or the level restarts. You know whatever we want to do really. Um, we will put lessons in where. Um, the enemy will fire at us, but that's a bit complicated for this stage. So um, the first thing we need to do then is go into our enemy AI. The last lesson, if you remember, we left it off with um, with quite quite a large one. We did enemy death with sounds and graphics. So that's where we shot him. Now we want a collision with us. So let's start a new area. So let's go into our viewport and let's go collision collision mesh so there's the collision mesh so as soon as he touches us we'll die so i've selected that i can pull this out and go to event graph and we'll have in here in our event graph we'll have begin overlap um could have input, we could have component hit as well but i'll go him overlapping us that will be fine so i'll click add so when the enemy hits us and we want something to happen so it will be um what are we we're the first person character so we are the first so it'll be cast to first person character remember we have to have this uh, context sensitive text if we don't it takes a lot longer to find stuff so cast to first person projectile and we want first person first person character so we're doing an overlap and it, it, the other the other actor which is the enemy and we are the object so when when there's a collision with us we simply want to well test first of all so let's do print string print string um, and we'll have collision so that's pretty straightforward when when the enemy hits us there should be a it should just say collision 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 so let's have a look collision collision if i get collision collision uh, collision collision so i can test the mesh it's all working so the collision's working fine so next thing we need to do go back into it um it's just look pretty much like the other lesson we did now we can put we can put lots of effects in i'm gonna take that off so we'll move, move that one out of the way and what we can do is we can cause the death so we can do um cast destroy actor so let's do destroy actor so we'll have destroy actor so that'll be ourselves so now i'll compile that close it press play and now when i when i go along this time when he hits me he just disappeared um we didn't really want that to happen though we don't we don't really want the um the act the the actor to, to disappear we want it to be ourselves so for this we can do um so look target the target will be the first person character so the target's the first person character so now when we compile it and play who will disappear this time he sees me he comes on after me no, he disappeared again so something went a bit wrong um uh the object who who was meant to go so if i drag this to here so destroy the actor yes but which which one or as first person character to the object so that's what we want so now when we play the game no, that's the wrong one. Close that down. Press play. We should disappear, so we have died. 
no, we didn't go. We'll have to have a look at that again. So let's go back in and look at that. So let's go back into the enemy. And okay, we didn't need this one, so I'll delete that. And I suspect the target is the first person character. It should be as simple as that. So should we have a look at it this time? And close it down, play. Yeah, I've gone. So I've now died. So that's the end of the game. So um, if that's the effect you want to have, and then we could have um, open level, and that level will be level one, because that's what we've called our level. So level one, compile that. If I show you the content, first person blueprint maps, it was called level one. So if I press play now, when he detects me, I should disappear and then the level should restart, yes. Okay, so now we've got a sort of instant death feature if you like. Um, so in the next lesson, we'll add some more effects and perhaps we'll add a health bar or, or that or that kind of effect to it. Hope you found that useful. See you at the next lesson.